Before I went to culinary school, I got a scholarship to become an opera singer. Sing for me, please. One, two. So this is love. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I'm Paula Velez, and I'm the co-founder of Bakers Against Racism, but I'm also the founder of Small Orchids, my media company. The key to our heaven is mine. Bakers Against Racism is an organization that was founded in 2020 when I was furloughed. I started thinking about ways to help the communities that really made our restaurant industry what it is, right? The undocumented workforce. There's dishwashers, porters, people that just work. In the pandemic, they weren't able to get access to like all of the funds that a lot of people were able to sign up for. And then I realized that the same way that I wanted to help and just do something, anything, every single furloughed pastry chef on the East Coast in LA, folks in London and Paris and Berlin, they wanted to do something too. It really started breaking down what the baker community is and it made the playing field even for everyone. My um, heritage as a uh, Dominican American is what I use to kind of bring a lot of whimsical flair to my desserts. Now as I know all of the staples, I know how to make, you know, cake pops and things like that. I want to make sure that I'm making it for folks that are like me or that want to try new things. Just kind of really make it funky but keep it to the core which is like all American desserts. A pastry that really relates to my roots is uh, the plantain sticky buns. It's actually like a mixture of Americana with like Caribbean influences. And I take the iconic sticky buns with pecans and then I actually fill them with sweet plantains. So it's not a bunch of sugar and brown butter uh, like most sticky buns. Um, I actually use the sweetness and the starch of the plantains to make like this ooey gooey uh, paste that's similar to like date filling. It feels like a hug and also somebody like screaming, flavor down, yeah, you know? And I'm like, that's, I love it. I just kind of broke it down and made it really accessible for um, anybody to make, right? I put it up on food and wine and um, folks were like, I can make this at home too. And then I was like, yeah, um, you can make this and more. Don't just make it with like the plantain filling, get creative. Right now I'm like really navigating a whole new world of what it means to be a pastry chef in like the social media age. Honestly, like I, prefer when folks at home are making it and they're tagging me in it because they're like really flexing their pastry muscles that they thought they couldn't because they're like I'm not a baker and I'm like but you are now you know the first time that I made the sticky buns, I was with my mom and uh, we were just like watching Guy Fieri and uh, he was eating sticky buns, like this ginormous like over the top sticky bun. But she was like, oh Paula, you should really uh, make sticky buns, uh, but uh, you know what I love? You should do it with plantains. And I was like, mom, that's amazing. And last year when I won Best New Chef uh, from Food and Wine, he actually came to my grand tasting to eat it. And he t said to like everybody that was there and like his social media following that uh, it was the best thing he's ate all year. And I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> like, what is my life? But not only that, like he uh, sent a video to my mom just thanking her for encouraging me and like keeping me in this industry, even though it was so difficult to get to where I am today. <laughs> 